other Monday for the next few weeks, talented chefs are going to be serving up their talents in Harlem. It's part of the Black Chef Series, a celebration of the journey and accomplishments of African American chefs and an opportunity to give back to the community. Joining us this morning live is Russell Jackson, one of the chefs featured during the series. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. I like how, how you ask. I'm here. This is what I do. So. We're happy to have you. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be here. And, you know, again, it's great to cook this early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Before you get started, tell us a little bit about this series, Every Monday Night in Harlem, right? So every other Monday night, essentially, uh, Lance uh, knowing the chef and owner of Blue Jean Restaurant, said, hey, look, you know, we really want to do something to make, give a level of awareness about black chefs, African-American chefs, chefs of color that, that are out there that just aren't getting their just due. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, we got a group of friends together and said, hey, you come over and cook one night, you come over and mm -hmm. cook one night, and it sort of started building this great series, and in turn, here we are. So every Monday night, or every other Monday uh -huh. night, we're bringing in chefs from all over the country to cook and showcase their work, because it's not about just, you know, soul food. We cook so right. mm -hmm. such an array of different types of cuisine. I'm, I know, I can't wait to try this, and also, you know, it's about giving back to the community as well. This absolutely. Series. City Harvest, Wedco, uh, uh, which is in the Bronx, are two organizations that we, we make sure that they're benefiting from all the people that are coming in and dining with us, so yeah. Very nice. And you brought some examples. Show us what you're cooking. Uh, ceviche. Okay. So I, I'm going to make today just a really quick little ceviche, which mm -hmm. is actually a Peruvian style uh, dish that I'm I'm going to do versus uh, an Italian or a French <laughs> or, a, or a Spanish style. Um, and I love coconut. Mm -hmm. And okay. this has been sort of I actually stole this from a ceviche guy in California <laughs> that I fell in love with, okay. um, which is a great underground restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yeah, so I'm going <laughs> to. Cut open a coconut okay. and <laughs> and <laughs> so and fortunately I pre-started that and it, what we end up doing is essentially using the coconut base as the bowl itself. Nice. So we'll set that there. All the juice that's in here, which I mean, this is a brilliant amount of fresh coconut juice. Uh, we blend that with jalapenos that we roast, some onions, mm -hmm. and then we strain that and we get this beautiful rich broth that's out of it. That's right here. Yeah, okay. and in turn, it's really simple. I'll, I'll usually marinate the fish for a couple of minutes in the juice. Mm -hmm. uh, just a little bit of lime, a little bit of uh, What kind of jalapeno. fish is this? This is a tuna, and you can use bass, you can use trout, you can mm -hmm. use all kinds of different fish. Again, it's just one of those things that you want to make sure that you've got good Really good quality, really, really super fresh fish. Don't skim. Right, Because right. you're going to taste it in the right, end, right? Right. Um, again, a little bit of onion, a little bit of fresh jalapeno. We just want to keep it. Spice it up a little bit. Really <laughs> simple and really fresh. Uh, I'll use a little bit of puff rice. Now, this, is, oh. this has been cooked dehydrated and then fried so wow, it takes a little bit of stuff fancy to get, rice. right or sometimes a lot of people will just take it and drop it into a, a, a deep fryer mm -hmm. and just you have to be a little bit careful but we put a little bit of the fresh rice on there and then this is micro cilantro mm -hmm. put a little bit of that on there these and what are, is that? It almost looks like, okay. Looks like caviar, right? Yeah. Or were you, what were you going to say? <laughs> I don't <Yes>. know. <laughs> so, this is, these are basil seeds that we've actually oh. in turn rehydrated with a little bit of uh, uh, vinegar, mm -hmm. Japanese vinegar. So we'll put a little bit of that in there. And it's, it's got this wonderful spicy taste to it. Delicious. And then, again, the broth mm -hmm. that was with the jalapenos and the onions and the lime. Right. I've gone ahead and strained this. And we'll finish the dish with a little bit of the broth. And all right in the coconut. All right in the coconut shell. And the best part is you can eat the shell. Mm. You can eat the right? shell. So, and then a little bit of beautiful cypress sea salt. And that, that's when one of our sponsors, uh, SOS Chefs, that's here in town that has, I mean, again, a lot of these spices come from them. Mm -hmm. And uh, super simple. You can do this ahead of time. Great flavors, bright. It's super for the summer. Try this, this is, one. This is a fabulous one. It's got a little bit of radish okay. in there as well. Can we talk about the chocolate chip cookies? Yeah. All right. Yes. Of course, everybody wants to talk I about the chocolate that. chip cookies. <laughs> it's one of. It's actually one of my signature dishes. Uh -huh. uh, it's something that I've done, Christ, for uh, it's so much of my career. Mm -hmm. It is a bacon chocolate chip <gasps> walnut cookie. Oh, yum. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you can do it with or without nuts. Uh -huh. the, the procedure that's there is very specific. You really want to make sure that you go through the steps of creating that dough okay. and taking your time. 
Great quality ingredients, great quality butter, uh, uh, good flour, mm -hmm. proper seasons, and, and you're going to get a beautiful. I mean, I want to really know the secret to making it puff up like this. I mean, yes. This is one of the, this again, is a really of baking heavy, powder. Heavy. <laughs> no, no, no. It's one of those things where, again, you melt the butter, mm -hmm. you let it cool, you, you know, it's like you're, it's about the taking the time to just procedurally go through it nice and mm -hmm. properly. This is delicious. I tried it when the camera wasn't off me. The, I've never heard of <laughs> nah, nah, I've, nah. Never, <laughs> I've never heard of putting bacon in chocolate chip cookies, but we have yeah. to try that. Well, you They're know, again, and we take, ones, we'll we take the bacon and we render the bacon out, which it, which essentially we're cooking it. Right. And then we're taking that fat and in turn adding it back in. And we use Cho Chocolate from San Francisco, which is nice. one of my proud people that uh, yes. that I love dearly from my <laughs> from my West Coast. Right. Uh, and it just makes it's really, really flavorful cookies. All right, somebody else who loves cookies is I Vanessa. Know. Oh. <laughs> the Snuck in there. end of the table. I'll, I'll, get, the yeah. I'll okay. get them to Get on the cookie. The, the cookie's a good thing. And you know, it's like, it's breakfast food. Of it course is. it is. Yeah. It's breakfast <laughs> and dinner food. Tell, we're running out of time. Tell right. us quickly okay. about the forecast. Right, just give me this.